Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of BH Outdoors. Today we're switching it up. We've been going for bass lately. Um, but we're going for bluegill, really small bass. Oh, wait, just a second. Uh, bluegill, really small bass, stuff like that. So we have our bobber and stuff set up here. I have a couple different colors. So I might do like some grubs and stuff in a little bit. But um, we're just gonna start casting out. We're gonna see if we can't get any really small bass. I actually, I actually um, have 25 pound test line on here. Um, but one time I was fishing just like I am right now. And I caught like a two and a half pound bass, so. Um, yeah. We might also catch a um, koi fish if they eat it. Jesus, about twisting my ankle, but. Um, so I guess see our first suspect. Oh, no, it's not gonna work. No. I can't cast. So just put it right in front of him. Okay. Need a shallower. just wanted to say for a second that <clears throat> this is basically just like a micro fishing type video about bass because we're not ever going to catch any bluegill um so this is basically just going to be like a micro fishing video so now let's head on and play some music cue the music let's go So, we just decided to switch up to this. Um, it's like, it's white. It's more grubby looking. Um, oh, you can't even see it. Just a little bit more grubby looking, the white one. Um, it's also got a little paddle tail on the back, so that way it'll just move around a little bit more. I'm hoping this will just kind of look like these little white grubs on the ground because I know bluegill like those. Um, small bass lead them. Uh, that's about all I can uh, say about that. I don't, I don't know. It, it might not help. It might work. It might not. I'm just trying to catch a fish, which isn't going very well, but. You never know, maybe things will turn around for me. So, anyway, I'll catch you whenever we catch a fish. Got him. Yes. Yes. I saw this tiny little bass. I hope the camera got that. Let's go. We got a nice small little bass right there. Perfect hook set. Mm. 
right there. Nice small little bass. I mean, it, oh, well, let's let him get a fly piece out. I was gonna show you something real quick. So here's him laid out. You can tell how small he is. I mean, compared to my hand, he's about the size of my hand, but that is a nice catch. I saw him from, I was casting somewhere else and I saw him and I was like, oh, I reeled it in and I thought, oh, let me just cast over here. Maybe he'll go for it. Immediately he darted over there. I jigged it a little bit and there we go. So this is what I'm going for these tiny, not tiny, but these smaller bass. Um, that's what, that's what I want to, want to get what I want to see. So hopefully this guy will grow, be big and we can catch him with bigger bass there one day. Cheating if I get him dry. Mm. Okay, guys. So as you saw, we um, caught our first fish of the day. I'd say we probably haven't been fishing out here for more than 15 minutes. Um, he hooked right on that white um, little grub. So uh, I'm probably gonna keep fishing with that white grub, and we're gonna see if we can't see any more of those um, bass just like that. So I'll catch you up and something interesting happens, probably nothing, or um, our next fish that we catch. So, see you then. I'm gonna, oh, something, something hit it. Oh, we got it, we got one. We got another one, guys. Oh, I think it's, it's a bass. We got another bass. Yes! Let's go! This guy's, better much better there we go right there nice bass look at that man he choked that thing or he didn't really choke but he, he got that thing um, pretty good there I I'm trying to unhook him with one hand it's quite quite difficult Let me just show you guys back again. We're gonna need the pliers. His mouth is so small, I can't get my fingers in there. There we go. Okay, now let me take it back out. Okay, there we go. And that wasn't even uh, two minutes on my camera that it says that we caught that last one. So um, let's take him over here to release him. I didn't even sight fish that one like the last one I saw. So let's get this guy going. So that's another fish. Hopefully we can um, just start doing that throughout this afternoon. Um, we're gonna try to get them as many as we can before lunch. Um, if you guys like this video, I can do a micro fishing challenge where I take micro crankbaits, these, and I basically have to try to catch as big of bass as I can. Um, that might be my next video, I don't know. Um, but if you guys hit that like button and um, leave it down in the comments below if you like this type of stuff and this like type of micro stuff and if you want me to continue it and try to get like a two, three pounder on some micro little things. I got the right line for this. So um, I guess I'll see you whenever we catch the next fish. Did you guys see that? Alrighty guys, so this is gonna be the last cast. I know we only caught what is it three or four fish in this video. Um we might catch more on this last cast. Um so recap of today's video. We did micro fishing, 
I mean, I was kind of going for bluegill some at the beginning, and then I realized, well, this hook's just too big. Uh, we had some good, to a couple bass take it. Um, we found some mystery fish. That I can't figure out what species they are. Um, if you guys want to see a micro fishing challenge, because I have some little crankbaits that are like that big and stuff, you know. Um, if you guys want to see like a challenge of this, like I get an hour and I got to see, I don't know, how much, how many fish I can catch or in an hour with micro fish or biggest fish in an hour versus like my brother or something that's using normal um bait see who can get biggest fish who can get most fish and who can get the first fish maybe um oh we just had a bite a niblet well i don't know but whatever you guys want to see just put it down in the comment section below if you like today's video and you want me to do more of it um you can go ahead and click that thumbs up button you can see there's many look how many i bet you guys can see this right well as you guys can see there's many bluegill so if i could get something where the bluegill that the bluegill could eat to you could just absolutely demolish these bluegill and just get bluegill after bluegill because even they're going for this but um i think that's going to do it for today's video I guess I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Sign up for now. See you on the next one.